okay we are in the middle of deriving the compound a pataha we are at the stage where we have na pata we use the sutram 2269 to compose this compound and now we have to elide do lopaha of the beginning letter na of the particle nyai sutram we need is 6373 na lopo nyaya very simple sutram it says nyayo nasya lopaha uttara pade remind ourselves where we are in yashta adhyayi remember the adhikara of uttara pade which runs down all the way from 631 aluguttara pade down to the end of this third quarter of the sixth chapter of the ashtadhyayi so these operations which are performed in this section they take place only when the final member of a compound follows meaning of the sutra is the letter n of the negation particle nyai is elided when followed by a final member of a compound what do we have right now we have n but we do have the particle nyai of course the ending letter n of the particle nyai is a it bahalantyam and takes lopaha matasya lopaha that's how we are at the stage n but so now we apply 6373 to elide letter n of the particle nyai so we get a but as the compound pratipadikam and as per the sutram 2426 paravalingan dvanvata purushayo ho the compound pradvikam a pata is masculine since the latter member pata of the compound is masculine declines like ram shabdaha you can similarly derive the following compounds na nyaha equals a nyaha is opposite of one who is knowledgeable hence it means one who is ignorant one who does not know na rogi equals a rogi same thing here opposite of one who is sick. means one who is healthy one who is not sick na dharmaha equals a dharmaha unrighteousness opposite of righteousness all these compounds are derived first by using the sutram 2269 to authorize the compounding and then use 6373 na lopo nyaha to perform the lopa elision of the letter na of the particle nyai so whenever we use 226 to form a compound it is purusha compound using the particle nyai then we have to think of the sutram 6373 which comes and removes the letter na of the particle nyai